All right, we're coming to the tail end of lab four. I've got one or two more videos to make. Um, I just want to review a few things. Let's start off with the body selector. And let's note, I'll take this comment tag, and I'll write that the body selector is a global. So in other words, if you're choosing something using the body selector, it's going to affect everything that is between the body start and the body end tag. So it's global. Whereas the H2 selector is only going to affect H2 and so forth. So I want to show you something that I did. Um, our slideshow that you would ha will have seen already gave you a slide for something called Type Wolf. And in the Type Wolf, they talked about how to add fractions. And it's a pretty simple piece of code. I'll put a comment right here. Um, and this is going to be an HTML comment because I'm in the middle of the HTML. So, uh, to get fractions, type ampersand, and then the short word for fraction, frac, and then the two numbers that you want to be a fraction. So here I typed 3, 4, then the two numbers. And that's the end of that comment tag. Okay, so you can see here I typed 3, 4 instead of 3 fourths. Same here. Here I typed 1, 2, and here I typed 1, 2. Let's do a save and refresh. There it is. So you can see the 3 quarters. That looks much nicer. So it's small things like this that help you to not just be a coder, but to be a coder and a designer. Small things like this. All right, now I want to talk a little bit more about font sizes. So let's go back up here into our styles. Um, right here, we've made the font size for the body 18 point. If you remember correctly, the default size is 16 point. So if I were to do a CSS comment, oops, around that tag, you'll see that it goes down a size. So the important thing to remember here is that 18px, that is a point size. You're saying 18 pixels, please, exactly. If I had said instead, and I'll put this on the H2, just so you can see it happen, uh, font size and 200%. That's a lot, right? It's big. Do a save. Oh, I didn't actually finish that tag. Do a save. And look at that. These are now huge. They're bigger than this. Well, maybe they're about the same size. We wouldn't want to do that, but I wanted you to see what percentages look like. 200% would be the same thing as two EMs. Let me do a save and a refresh. No change. So the word EM is a typographic term that means the letter M. And so this means two times the size of a normal letter M. And it means the same thing as 200%. So let's put a little H uh, CSS comment in there. Uh, percent and EM are the same. And then what you need to remember is that you can change the sizes of things in two ways, with an exact measurement or with a percent of the original, percent of the default. So that's another something to remember. Um, we've put some comments in about that, and I think you know about it. Now I'd like to talk about line height and text decoration and text transformation. So let's go to our H2 tags, and let's do some fun stuff. Let's say uh, text hyphen decoration. So text decoration, if I type my semicolon, oops, my semicolon, I'll get a little bit more options in here. I'm going to just type the word underline and save it so that you can see 
there it is underlined. Now typically I would not choose to underline any text at all because actually I'm also going to change this to 1.5 while I'm here because that's better because an underline is interpreted as a live link and we don't want this to look like a live link if it's not. So beside underline not with a comma but just with a space I'm going to type the word dotted and save. How about that? It's not an underline but it's a way of highlighting it and I wanted you to see what happens when in the value area remember this is a property name and this is a property value in the value area you can add two values you just have to separate them with a space let's try something on the h1 in the area of a value so here's my h1 tag and I'm gonna add font size 3 save oh look at that really big I'm gonna leave it like that and then uh, I will go down to giving it a color I'm gonna use 600 because I went to color scheme designer and found a few things and in fact yeah that looks good that's the color of chocolate cake I might change this color the dark green in H2 to 030 I like using hexadecimal colors I think it's just more globally accepted pound 030 and that's a very similar green so it's not going to look very different it's a little darker I didn't want it to stand out too much um, and now let's center this headline there's h1 I'm going to choose text align how about that for a new tag I bet you've been wanting that one for a while I know that I wanted it for a long time we learned last week about how the center tag has been deprecated and now you know why all right there's that so now I'd like to talk about line height and that is the space between the lines it is very common in an unordered list to add a little bit of line height so let's do that and see what it looks like UL and line height is the property name so in this instance I think it's smart to work with EM what we know is that 1M the default is just one line under the other so 2M is probably going to spread it out like it's double spaced now for a cook that's just a lot easier to read let's play some more with the H1 so we can learn a few more things how about the font variant so again I know I'm asking you to memorize a lot and you can always write them down that that'll help you remember or you can just uh, go home tonight and practice 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 I'm going to call this font variant small caps and I think you'll know what it is just as soon as it happens oh I typed something wrong what did I type wrong maybe I need to choose from font variant there it is it's a hyphenated word all right now I'm going to add a text shadow text hyphen shadow and this is another area where you can type 2px and that means I would like to offset this text shadow by two pixels to the right and then if I skip a space and type 2px again that means I would like to offset to the bottom now, oh no how about 12 px this is going to be how much will that glow we'll change these to take a look at them and now let's just do a color of uh, 9c9 and finish this tag so we can take a look at it save so now this is small caps you can see what that means the capital letters are still big but the lowercase letters are smaller but they're caps 
And then you can see the, let's play with the shadow so that you can see what that looks like. <coughs> what if I did it 10, oops, 210, let's not do that. 10px, save, refresh. It's a little up higher, you can't really see. Let's change the shadow to 2px. Save. It's more precise now. 10px looks bad now. Let's play with 2. Save. So that doesn't look bad, but it's so barely noticeable. That's why I like the spread. Let's play with larger offsets first. Save. There's offset to the right more. Save. There's offset down more. Those are just things that make it hard to read. It's a bad idea. I'm going to move those both back to 2. And then I'm going to change my, oops, let me save that. And then I'm going to change my uh, spread to 12 because I, I just think that looks nice. Especially with this color, 9C9. It's a little bit like the color of the uh, mint, right? Not too distracting from it, but a little bit like it. So here's where we are. Uh, I'm thinking as I look at this, that this paragraph would be nice if it were italics because it's like someone talking, right? So let's go to, let's make a P style. P. Okay, here's the chance to think. What is it? Is it text weight? Is it font variant? Is it font? It is font style. Uh, I'm going to choose italics. Save. Yes, I think that looks better. And now let me just look through. Is there anything else we might want to add to the H1s? We've got font size. We've got a line. We've got color font variant and text shadow. I think that looks good. I'm pretty happy with it. What about the H2s? Do we have enough on the H2? Text decoration underline, dotted. What if we did, um, remember how I skipped a space here with that? What if I made that underline a color? So pound 030. It's kind of a green. Let me do a save. Refresh. Yeah, it might be hard to see for you, but it's green. Um, there's one more thing I'd like to do to make this site beautiful. It'll be my next and last video. I just don't think it's wise to ask people to scroll up and down a page. So I would like to put the directions over here beside the ingredients. And I'm going to do that by adding a table. I'll also add the image.